Welcome to Clear Springs High School, where there's something for everyone. Whether it's a club, elective, or sport, there's something here for you. But you'll find out more about what activities suit your interests as the year goes on. This video is just to help you get started with the basics of Clear Springs High School. The majority of your days will start off sitting in the traffic jam known as 518. Yes, there is traffic, and lots of it. So if you want to get to school on time, make sure you leave your house early. Once you finally make it to school, there are two student entrances. The first entrance is the parent drop-off door. Make note, this is located left of the main entrance with the sign parent drop-off door. This is not the main entrance of your school. The main entrance is not accessible at the beginning of the day. And parents, please only drop off the students at the front of the school. The parking lot is used for those trying to park. Please be respectful and use the main lane for the student drop-off. For those of you entering from the bus line or the student parking lot, you will use the entrance in the back of this cafeteria. Once you have entered the school, you may take a seat in the cafeteria, wait directly in front of the cafeteria, or wait outside by the back entrance. Just make sure you listen for the first bell and not count to tardy. Clear Springs takes punctuality very seriously. When the tardy bell rings, all students are expected to be in class. Be mindful of the time because tardies add up and can easily get upgraded to detention or ISS. And don't forget your ID badge. Your ID badge is the single most important piece of attire you have at Clear Springs. If at any point in the day your ID badge is not visible, you will be sent to get a temporary ID badge. And we all have to wear one, so just buy a fun lanyard from the DECA cart and throw it around your neck so you don't have to deal with the hassle. I think you get the idea and importance of your ID badge. Along with punctuality and identity, Clear Springs takes truancy, or skipping school, issues just as seriously. Wanting to spare the headache of morning traffic is not a reason to stay home. Any student who exceeds the maximum absences will have to appear before a judge to appeal for credit, seeing how attendance is required by law. More information on this policy and consequences of truancy can be found in your student manual or on the website ccisd.net slash cshs. While walking to your classes, be aware of more traffic. Main Street, which is one-fourth of a mile, has just as much traffic as 518, so be sure to walk on the right side of the hallway. Don't stop in the middle of it. Don't worry, you will get lost, just like we did and still do sometimes. So to help with the first day confusion, let's give you a breakdown of your campus. The majority of your freshman classes will be located in the freshman pod, the 25-2600 rooms. This pod is directly above the student drop-off entrance. If your room number has a two in front of it, it's on the second floor. Now my personal favorite part of the school day, the end. Once the final bell rings, students are free to go home. For those of you who are taking the bus, be sure you know your bus number and where it will be in the lineup in the back of the school. Buses leave at 2.38 every day after school. If you are not sure which bus you're on, go to ccisd.net and click on School and Bus Finder. If you are not riding the bus home, be sure you have another form of transportation for pickup. Since students are not allowed to loiter on campus, the only way to remain on campus after school is in a teacher's room for tutorials or if you are participating in an extracurricular activity. If you are staying after school for tutorials, you must be in class by 2.40. Tutorials end at 3.15. If you are going to more than one tutorial, then be sure to pick up a tutorial pass at lunch. A big part of the high school experience is our football games. You can buy football tickets at this window in front of the cafeteria during lunch. Keep an eye out on Vault Vision for ticket prices and information. Speaking of high school experiences, you are welcome to purchase your yearbook now. You can go to smart-pay.com to place your order today. We all enjoy our phones, tablets, and other devices, and if you want to continue enjoying them, you must have the consent of your teacher. Clear Springs is now a BYOD campus, meaning bring your own device, but that does not give you permission to be rude and use them during class. Your teacher will have either a power up or power down sign and you can use your devices accordingly. Your teacher is allowed to take your device and hold it until the end of the day. You will also be given a school laptop that you need to bring to school every day. It is your responsibility to take care of this laptop and keep it charged. If you break your laptop or something is not working, then please bring it to the laptop tech and the library. Log in on the computer and specify what is wrong with your laptop. They will call for you once your laptop is fixed. Parents, when signing for your child's laptop, don't forget to purchase insurance. Well, now that you know the basics of your school, it is time to put it in action. Go home, get some rest, and better be on time. Then do it all again the next day. Hopefully we answered your questions, and for more details on bell schedules, what to do if you're late, and other facts and questions, just check the school website. And be sure to keep an eye out for announcements here on Volt Vision. Vision.